DNA fingerprinting. It is a technique leading to quick way comparing DNA sequence of individuals in population. Now, we know that human population is very huge and we cannot compare DNA sequence of each and every individual. And this DNA fingerprinting helps or give us an easy method to compare DNA sequence in individuals. Now, this DNA fingerprinting involves principle that is polymorphism in DNA sequence. Now, what is polymorphism? It is variation at genetic level due to mutation. This technique was developed by Alex Zeffrey using satellite DNA as they show high degree of polymorphism. Now, what we already know that polymorphism is variation at genetic level due to mutation. Now, this fingerprinting process involves identifying specific reason in the DNA sequence known as repetitive DNA. Now, the question arises, what is repetitive DNA? Basically, repetitive DNA is separated from bulk genome having a sequence where small stretch of DNA is repeated many times. Satellite DNAs. They are bulk DNA that forms major peak during the density gradient configurations. They do not encode for any proteins. Satellite DNA have number of repetitive units. Now, types of satellite DNAs. They are of many types depending upon the length of the segment, number of repetitive units and composition. And they are basically divided into micro and mini. Now we know that DNA sequence of any two individual is not the same and DNA from tissue in an individual so same degree of polymorphism. But there is an exception to this. In case of monozygotic twins, they have the same DNA sequence. Monozygotic twins are identical twins. Now application of DNA fingerprinting are forensic science genetic biodiversity, evolutionary biology, paternity testing in case of disputes. Alex Zeffrey's earlier technique used satellite DNA showing high degree of polymorphism. This mini satellite DNA are called VNTR. Now what is VNTR? It stands for variable number of tandem repeats. And what is tandem? It means one behind the other. The technique used is southern blood hybridization using radio labeled VNTR as a probe. Now what is southern blood hybridization? Basically, it is used in molecular biology for detection of specific DNA sequence in DNA sample. It combines separating DNA fragments based on the size via electrophoresis. Electrophoresis, it is the process of separation of DNA, RNA or protein molecules on the basis of size and electrical charges using electric current. And the steps involved in southern blood hybridization, these are basically sequential steps and they consist of six steps. First, isolation of DNA from sample cell. Second, digestion of DNA by restriction endonucleases. Third, separation of DNA fragments by electrophoresis. Fourth, blotting or transferring DNA fragments to nitrocellulose or nylon membrane. Fifth, hybridization using labeled VNTR probe. Sixth, and the last one, autoradiography detection of the hybridized DNA fragments.